following today's uh, first round NCAA tournament game. We've got um, representing Washington at Jefferson, head coach Mike Sirianni, and uh, student athletes Alex Schramm, Billy Kelly, and Pete Cogley. Um, coach, opening comments? You know, I, you're not going to, you know, obviously we're going to talk about the turnovers and, and, a, and a couple things I think about them. Yeah, they turned the ball over nine times. Um, and, and a few of those were probably self inflicted. Okay, um, turnovers. But we, I think, before we go and say, hey, they turned the ball over nine times, that's why they lost. I think we stepped in front of six or seven of those picks. Our kids made good reads on the balls. Okay, they they watched film, except for that corner out on the touchdown all week. And um, I, I think, you know, before we just go ahead and say that they turned the ball over nine times, I think you got to look at some of them and be like, hey, their kids made plays on the balls. We didn't play very good last week in the secondary, and I think that they took it upon themselves to play a little better this week. You ever have a game in which you had eight interceptions? Before? I turned through the ball. Did we, did we have eight in Bridgewater in 2000? Did we throw eight? Uh, we threw close to that. Was seven. Jonathan Sue. So his name's out of the record book. <laughs> good. He'll like that. <laughs> um, and, and, and you know, I will say that Zach Jenkins is going to be a great. He's a good quarterback and going to be a great run. Brian's in our hall. Brian Dawson threw seven in the playoff game in 2000, and he's in our hall of fame. This kid will bounce back. He's a good player. Um, but um, no. Did you see anything on the film that, that sort of maybe tells or giveaways uh, that, maybe, that you could jump routes? Uh, I mean, you'll have to ask these guys, but honestly, I let, I think Sean Rohr and our secondary coach, Sean Rohr, our defense coordinator, and our secondary coaches, okay, BJ Monticelli and Chris Smitley, did a great job because I let them go because I coordinate the offense. So, they, I mean, I watched a little bit of film of their, of their offense, but those guys really studied it, and, I'm, and you have to ask them, but I'm sure that. That, that's got to be the case in a little bit of it. So, Alec, what, to that question, then, did you, what did you see film-wise? What did you feel like you guys did today? Well, we noticed that during film that he, he's basically a one, one read quarterback. So we, we felt that uh, we could jump routes if um, his eyes were on the receiver. So, I mean, that's what we did. We took advantage. The linebackers did a good job. Uh, I think Bryce had a couple tips that led to interceptions and the, I mean we got pressure on them too so I mean all that to put together you're gonna you're gonna force some turnovers. Was this, was this like yawning in a room you know where it happened the one guy gets one and then it's just kind of infectious where the next guy gets one and then the yeah. other guy gets one? Yawning in a room? Did you ever do that? Did you ever yawn? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's contagious. It's very contagious. Yeah, I, I understand that. Contagious. Yeah, it's very. Yeah, well, we were talking. Oh, we got. Well, we had four at halftime. We were talking at halftime. I think um, all three, or me, Billy, and Tim, also had one. And we were just, you know, jagging grass. And you got to get one. You got to get one. He ended up getting one too. So yeah, I mean, it is contagious because one guy makes a play, you want to make a play. So I mean, yeah, that's. I think that was contagious. Um, Pete, the quick start you guys had off. I'm sure. I'm sure it helped them like get like into the game more. Definitely helped like our offense. Like first score helped our second score, but then uh, they helped us out the whole game, getting turnovers in like key spots, and we just couldn't convert them like we usually do. But uh, defense bailed us out tonight. Yeah, they were always kind of hanging around, Billy. I mean, mm -hmm. did you guys feel like they could move the ball? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we felt like we were pretty much in control of the game the whole second half. I mean, we knew they were moving the ball pretty well, but they got to the red zone, and, I mean, that's pretty much where we make our money. That was Coach Roar's biggest uh, concern, just tighten up in the red zone. Don't let them get seven. Don't let them score. And, uh, I mean, I don't think there was any time in the game or the second half where we felt like we were endangered. We ever – there was nothing – we were too concerned about it. We knew it was what was coming, and we felt pretty comfortable. How did you feel, Coach? <laughs> I, you know – they were very capable, and, and, and I want to call Ryan Ruffin sucked it up. Our, I mean, our star running back was a, played. A, you know, they told me he was going to get ten carries in him at the most today. Is that all he was going to get? And, I mean, he sucked it up and had some. But that really takes us out of our our run game. I mean, we we widen our splits out and we try to create gaps because it's hard to arm tackle him. Without him, <laughs> we needed those eight picks, okay? Because we didn't have the the, the type of run game that we usually had. And, and give Sean Ross, Sean's a Washington guy, he does a great job he, he, uh, coaching Wittenberg's defense. Just terrific um, job coaching Wittenberg's defense, and he did a good job. But you know, I was 
on edge a little bit because I didn't think our running game, not having Ryan, what it is what it was all season. So our de we needed our defense to step up, and they did. Coach, I want to ask you a question. Um, so how did your team prepare for the Indians game, and were there any adjustments you had to make? Last well, first, we, Tuesday we practiced in minus one degree weather. That's so terrible. It was awful. All week. Still can't feel my feet. You know? <laughs> but uh, we don't have a nice field out like you guys have here. Um, but I, I just, I don't, you know, that well, that's why I was disappointed in last week's loss. Um, not because we lost, and, 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 but because I don't think our kids and our coaches prepared the same way. And, and that's something that I pride myself on, and that's something that I learned. <laughs> at this, did Adrian end up beating up? No, oh, shoot. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's something that I learned in my union, that you, you do everything the same way every week. And I, I think, well, I don't think we did that against Waynesburg, but this week we did. We just, we did, it was a, just the same week. It just happened to be a playoff game. And, and I'm proud of the guys. I don't think we watched any more film or less film, but they refocused, and I think they treated this the same as we try to keep treat every game, and that's the one and all every week. And that's what I'm proud of them about. They refocused, because I don't think we did that last week. So now you get another game with Ryan Union again. What are your feelings about that? I was going to Alliance anyway for Thanksgiving, so I might as well take 58 guys. <laughs> um, it's been a while since we've, I mean, we've made the playoffs, but we haven't won the playoff game. So we're not, again, I, you know, I'll answer questions about them, I'm sure, throughout the week. Um, you know, we'll play as hard as we can, okay? We're not, it's not like we're going to turn down and we're not going to come. You know what? Our kids are confident. You know, I think um, if we get Ryan healthy um, and can do some different things on, I mean, get our run game going, you know, we're going to try to. I mean, why not? Okay, we're gonna, someone, someone, some year someone's going to beat them, but it's not going to be a purple stag ball. Some year someone's going to get beat, and, and why not? Can't, why can't it be us? And will we climb up the big hill? Yeah, but you know what? You can't go in there thinking you're world beaters, but you also can't go in there scared either. So I think we'll, you know, we respect them. Obviously, that's where I learned how to coach, and um, we'll see what happens. Billy, did you ever have three interceptions in a game before? I never have. That's a that's the first for me. <laughs> he was a receiver the first two years. Even in high school? I actually played quarterback in high school, and I played safety on defense. But you never had three. Did you have any? Did you ever have any? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I've always. I've had a few in high school. How about you, Alex? Nope. I've had two, I had two in one game in high school, but that was it. He just threw the ball over his head. He can't kill it. <laughs> have you had what, one in your college career? Yeah, before this. Do you remember what game? Bethany. Eight of them. None of them were touchdowns, did they? No, because Danny got cramped up. Oh, you guys stopped at the one. Yeah, yeah, I cramped up about 15 or 10. I just couldn't. It just wouldn't go for me. It was not a good thing. Yeah, we put it in right after that, so I wasn't too worried about it. They picked up the slack. Wittenberg is going to be just, they have a great program. We're humbled to beat a program. I mean, this is a neat tradition game. I mean, two teams that have won 700 games, now you're going to go play. I mean, and there's only three in the history of college Division three football, and the both play. That's neat. I mean, you walk around and you can just feel the football history here and the tradition. It's a neat place to play. Um, and uh, they're going to be, I mean, they're a terrific program. Coach Finchin does a great job. And they'll, they'll buy, they're young. They're just like us. They're young. I mean, we only have four seniors that started. I don't know if they have very many more, so they'll be back. They're a great football program. And Joe's a great coach. Coach, uh, one more thing. Uh, what's one thing we can expect to see from Washington Jefferson as you have a fan's opportunity? Well, we get to have Thanksgiving together, right? Yeah, yeah, you know what? I, again, we're going to do everything we can to try to win. We're gonna, you're going to see 100% effort from our kids next week and our coaches. And, and um, that's all you can ask for. We're going to try to do everything we can, think of every advantage we can get. Uh, maybe, like I said before, the weather will be bad next week, and that's a great neutralizer of talent. We're going to do every possible thing that we could do and we can think of to try to win this football game. And because it's a playoff game, and, and we're, and if it doesn't happen for us, it doesn't happen. But we're, we're going to go down swinging, and our kids are, we scrimmage them. So it's, the nice thing is we scrimmage them. We're used to it. No, we're not going to be in We play them twice a year in JV games. Um, so it's, I mean, the way the NCAA committee pods everything now, if we want to go where we're going to go, we're going to have to beat them sometime, okay, if we ever want to get out of the second round because they just seem to pod everything and they put the schools closest together. So we're going to play as hard as we can and see what happens.